If you've been experiencing any or all of these following six symptoms, it may be time to cut sugar from your life. Trust me on this one. Nothing tastes as good as having your own personality back. What's up, world? This is Josiah with Cooked on a Feeling. And if you're looking to live a gluten, sugar, dairy-free life like myself, but still eat delicious foods, then this is the channel for you. <laughs> Symptom number one, sleepy and tired. So I hadn't even thought about cutting sugar from my life until my sister brought it to my attention. I was going to bed at a good hour. I was trying to get to sleep before 11, but I was still having trouble getting up before 12, 1, or 2 in the afternoon. So my sister recommended, hey, why don't you try cutting sugar for a couple days and just see if it gets any better. So at the time, I'd been eating like a bowl of cereal right before I went to sleep, something pretty sweet like Captain Crunch or whatever. So I decided to start there, right? I didn't know all the things that sugar was in, but I did know there was a lot of sugar in Captain Crunch. That night, I cut the sweet cereals, and the next morning, immediately, I found success. And after a few days, I actually felt pretty normal. I was able to go to sleep at a normal hour and wake up at a normal hour without feeling this intense feeling of of groggy tired. The second immediate improvement I saw in my life was rage. Now that that's over. <laughs> okay, so the second thing I noticed in my life that was a little bit off was that I was raging. I would get really irritated and mad about little things. I'm a very chill, patient kind of person, so when I was feeling this anger and this rage boil up in my soul, I knew something was kind of off. So I've kind of been able to use that as a tracking device for sugar. So when I feel that rage boiling up in the pits of my soul, then I know that I've probably accidentally eaten sugar in something and I can kind of track it down and eliminate that from my diet. At least it's a good way to help you track down what not to eat. So similar to the sleep schedule, when I cut sugar, I noticed that that rage went away, which was incredible because I didn't have to be so angry all the time. <laughs> Feels good to not be mad. Up next on the list is depression and lack of motivation. As I previously mentioned, I am not a doctor, but um, I can say that there is a chance that if you're feeling moody, depressed, or lack of motivation, unmotivated, there it is. So if you're feeling any of those things, there may be a chance that sugar is influencing that. I've had some very dark days and I have been able to relate it back to my sugar intake. When I was on the diet, I had removed all sugar from my life, but I accidentally ate a good amount of sugar in something at a restaurant or something that I didn't know had sugar in it. It would hit me really hard later that night. Um, and those feelings are very real. So you have a imbalance of chemicals or whatever is going on in your brain. Also not a scientist. So if I'm using the wrong terminology, bear with me. Now, there is a plethora of reasons for depression and lack of motivation, so I'm not saying that this is going to be the actual cure, but I know it was for me. At the end of the day, it's worth a shot, right? The best way to see if something is really affecting you is cut it out of your life entirely, 100% cold turkey, and then reintroduce it in a small dose, and you'll know exactly what that is doing to your body. Now the lack of motivation kind of plays into the anger and the tiredness. I feel like they were all kind of associated with each other. It was really hard to get anything done. I'm, I'm a very motivated and goal-driven person, but I couldn't even get up in the morning. I couldn't get anything done. I couldn't stay focused. I also had a lot of brain fog. So brain fog for me personally, it's like everything is kind of a little bit hazy. It's almost like you're in like 10% in a dream. It's really hard to focus on anything. It's really hard to keep your attention. If you've had brain fog or you're familiar with what I'm talking about, it's kind of like when you just wake up and you're foggy and you don't really know what's going on, but it lasts all day long. That's what brain fog is. Uh, so I was experiencing that pretty much the entirety of my day, wanting to just go back to sleep. Number four is weakness in the body. So the quickest way for me to know that I've had sugar, I feel it literally within seconds, but I've been on this diet for several years, so I'm very in tune with my body. So I'm kind of familiar if something's going on, if something's weird, I can almost immediately locate like what I did wrong. And so anytime that I have even a minute amount of sugar, I immediately feel it in my legs. It feels like I just did a whole leg day, but it does feel like my muscles have gone on vacation. You don't even realize it, but you're always trying to find a place to sit down. Number six, weight gain and sugar cravings. If I have a little bit of honey, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of sugar or anything like that, I turn into Jekyll or is it Hyde? Whichever one the bad guy is. I pretty much just feel the spike in my body and a lack of self-control and I want to eat everything that I can possibly find that might be sweet. Um, when you cut sugar entirely and there's none of that in your system, those cravings go away, which is wonderful. Cut that sugar, see how you feel, see if it works for you. There's a way to do that. I'm going to make a whole video about it later. You'll be able to find it on my page in a couple weeks. 
So if you've tried to cut sugar before, you know how intense it is because actually sugar releases opioids and dopium, dopium, and dopamine, which triggers the reward system, AKA addiction. The good news is when you've cleared your body of all that sugar and you're on that 10 to 14 day fast and everything is out, you don't have those cravings anymore. So it's not like you're fighting those raging cravings every single day, but it does get a lot better. And once it's out of your system, it's really not that hard to keep the sugar out of your system. Um, typically you can do it from 10 to 14 days to get all the sugar out of your system and see how you do. And then you can reintroduce the sugar and see how it really affects you. But I will say that when I did cut sugar, I lost a lot of weight. Um, I probably dropped 15 to 20 pounds in the beginning, but I am learning how to cope with that and how to introduce foods to gain weight back on, which I did mention in my previous video, which you can find right here. So the video here covers nine of the most common dairy products and substitutes for them. So I mentioned in there are proteins and ways to bake and ways to cook. So that'll help you if you're trying to cut all three of those. So if you've experienced or are experiencing any of these symptoms in your life, then it may be time for a change. I used to be the biggest sugar junkie of all time. All that to say is if I can cut sugar, you can cut sugar too. And I promise you nothing tastes as good as having your life, your energy, and your personality back. If this content has been useful for you at all, throw me a thumb and boop that subscribe button. Boop. So what do we do about it? I'm so glad you asked. The very first thing I would do is this. Try sugar detox. For more information on how to do a sugar detox, check the link provided below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.